Uh, I think I will make the Hall of Fame someday. I wanted to talk to you about that because uh, I don't want to bring this up to, in, a, in a bad way, mm -hmm. but Chris Johnson was on I Am Athlete. I saw that. And he was talking about what's the criteria, like mm -hmm. I think I should be in it. I'm with Chris. He changed the game. You're with him on that. I agree with that. What's the criteria? Yeah. What's the criteria? What Stop. is the criteria? Like, what is it? I don't know. Yeah. I retired 15th all time, 11,000. Six hundred and you know, go know, ahead. Thirty-five or something, y'all. You know exactly the like number. That. You know exactly the number. Forty-two records. I, I might be off. I, I could be off. It's been a while since I looked at it. <laughs> you know it mm -hmm. But at the time when I retired, I knew I my numbers were better than fifteen of the guys that were currently in the Hall of Fame, whether they're modern era or old school. My numbers were better than these guys. So that alone, right? Alone, what's the criteria? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and you just say, this guy is better than these other guys. Like, I think he's deserving of a spot in here. Mm -hmm. I don't, not first ballot, obviously. I think I would have been first ballot if I hadn't missed 60. I missed 60 games in 13 years. Oh, damn. 60 fucking games. I missed, I missed 14 and 14, 28 games my last two seasons almost in, when I was in New England. That actually brought my uh, rushing, um, average per game down and my yards per carry came down based on the games that I suited up for the Patriots mm. got one snap or two snaps because mm. of their system yeah <clears throat> so now when you look at per game averages they came down because I, I dressed out but I right. didn't you know what I mean yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so um I I do think that I will make the Hall of Fame win I don't know but um I think my career was worthy. My numbers speak for itself. Uh, I agree with Chris. You know, Chris was a bad man. Well, the only thing I disagree was, yeah, with was, was when he said he was the first 200-pound back to come in and be an every-down back. Mm -hmm. I was 226 doing it. Just as fast. I ran 42840 at 226 coming out. Damn. On grass. You faster than Chris. He no, said hell no. <laughs> No, I wasn't faster than Chris, but I ran 42840 yeah. on grass at my Florida workout. Chris ran his in Indy at a combine. I didn't run at a combine. I was advised by my agent not to. Why? I would have. He just said, I just run on your pro day. There's no See, pressure. I, I'm trying to, I've been trying to run. I didn't even train I'm for fine. my pro day. I didn't train for the combine. I didn't train for my pro day. Mm -hmm. I What'd did, you do? I did six. I did six. You this, just knew you were going up top. God, so God is my witness on my dying grandmother. I, I did six 20-yard starts to train. I went down to New Orleans to Coach Tom Shaw, and Coach Shaw might be watching. At some, I don't Shout know. Out Shaw. Uh, he's in Orlando now, but he had his facility in New Orleans. I went down there because my agent, they had a relationship. I went down there, and... Um, after the first day of, you know, getting acclimated and, and, and doing his workouts and everything, we did a few starts. He said, he pulled me, I said, hey, why are you here? I was like, because my agent asked me to come. I'm working out. He's like, you're the closest thing to Bo Jackson I ever seen in my life. Damn. He said, why are you here? The next day I left. Yeah. I, I was out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I left. I was out of there, no man. Shit. Um. And I just didn't train myself, Jaquez Green. And we just, uh, we did a few starts on the um, track field uh, at, back at UF in Gainesville. And uh, the next thing you know, is pro day. And we went out there and we lit it up. Yeah. Damn. 41 yeah, inch vert, oh, 428, so 40 on the grass. Hey, that's got to be, that's so insulting to me and Will. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's sickening, it was, bro. Blinding, dude. Nah, I'm like in a Rocky crazy. Four montage during my pro day training. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this motherfucker's just going out with his homeboy on the track and just being like, all right, I feel good, man. Let's go do it. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't really say that, you know, as, you know, I'm not bragging. I, looking back, I'm like, fuck, I really could have really trained and, and killed a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, I could have been in these conversations where these guys are, the fastest 40s and this and that or whatever. I could have been right there, mm. but much bigger. So I do agree with Chris on the um, the whole criteria thing. Yeah. The only thing that I disagree with is that um, I was, you know, a, a 200 plus pound back playing every single first down, second down, third down, goal line. Yeah. He wasn't the one that started that. Right. Yeah. You were. Fucking right. 
<laughs> I, fucking love it. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.